Do you think you're more attractive than me? I don't, no, I don't think so. That's a lie. Damn it! <laughs> I, uh... Today, the Try Guys are gonna be hooked up to lie detectors and we're gonna be grilled by some of the people who know us best, our siblings. Brian, introduce yourself. Oh, he just froze. He's all frozen now. That's right, for the very first time in Try Guys history, we are gonna feature some of our brothers and sisters. Do you think your mom's favorite child? Do you think I would be a good dad? Do you hope Wes has a little sister? Do you have any big secrets that you've intentionally kept from me? I have nothing to hide from my sister. I do have some things to hide from you guys, though, that she knows, so maybe I should be nervous. This is John, our polygraph examiner. He's gonna be determining whether what I say is true or not. I have no escape. There's no way any of these guys can trick me, and I live by the motto, liars go to hell. What's the difference between being grilled by your friends and by your family? It's harder to lie to your family. Hmm. So this is gonna be even juicier than the last video. Do you like my mustache? I do love your mustache. That's true. Brian likes to change his look. It's normally an annual thing where he'll just show up and he looks completely different. It's very fun. I will be chatting today with my brother, Brian. He's my older brother, but not my oldest brother. He joins us live from Houston, Texas. I know a pretty good amount about Keith already, and Keith's not the sneakiest uh, brother in the universe. I wasn't known for lying. He, he tells nice lies, mostly. <laughs> yeah, probably that's true. Joining us from New York is my sister, Steffi. Uh, Steffi and I have always been super close. She's three years younger than me, but uh, we got along really well when we were kids. Uh, you're laughing, is that a lie? <laughs> you stuttered. <laughs> F you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see how you do on camera. So joining me today is my gorgeous, successful, insanely talented, brilliant, powerful, young female entrepreneur, my little sister, Whitney. Hi, everybody. We have an older sister, too, who I have asked my nicer sister to grill me today, <laughs> which is saying a lot. A little background on us. When we grew up, we were definitely best of friends. We had a period of about two years where Eugene was going through some interesting things in his life, so it was super mean to me. <laughs> Other than that, now we're good friends. We have a really good time and drink a lot. That's my sister. Today we are being joined in real life by my sister Grace. Hi Grace. Hi Ned. Thanks for being here. Oh, no problem. I like your sweater. Thanks, I like your sweater. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so Grace, the way this works is you get to ask me any questions you want and then John will tell you whether I'm lying or not. True doubt. <laughs> Do you think you're smarter than me? Um. Yeah, probably, yeah. True. I'm sorry, I just, I what? think, I think that about most people. You didn't even try to lie. Well, that's part of the, what? Do you think you are uh, better looking than me? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, no. That's a lie. <laughs> We have a similar look. Yeah, I think my features are too exaggerated. Is there any significance to the amount of time it takes to characterize a truth or a lie? We have to watch until the sweat stops going up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you admit that it made you irrationally angry when it went like this? <laughs> I wanted to rip her tongue out of her face. It still makes me furious. I don't know why. <laughs> so I will start with Maybe an easy slash loaded question. <laughs> Did you think I looked up to you as a kid? Yes. True. Yeah, I think you looked up to me being so creatively ambitious. Mm. Because... Maybe I should have clarified what stage of life. <laughs> Did you ever flunk a test? Um, yes. Really? True. What'd you flunk? I got my East and my West mixed up in a second grade geography test. <laughs> Pretty so much, sad. you miss half of them. <laughs> oh sounds, man! You get a fifty percent. What do you mean? When did you not? When did you not look up to me? When you were in high school, that was a terrible stage. Yeah, I was crazy. I was a crazy person. What's the next question? <laughs> do you think you're a good brother? Yeah, I think I'm a good brother. True. 
Do you think you've always been a good brother? <laughs> uh, I think I've always tried to be a good brother. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I was a good sister growing up? Yes. True. Thank God. <laughs> Do you think I'll be a good mom? Yes. That better be true. True. That's not coming anytime soon. <laughs> Good, great. More free babysitting. <laughs> Our producer sent you some nice questions to ask. Did yeah. you Do you want okay. to ask some of those or did you delete those? Uh, I just restored it. Hold on. So you did delete them. Do you think I've always been a good brother? No. <laughs> True. <laughs> Fair. Have you ever wished you were an only child? <laughs> no. That's a lie. John, no. Look at it. Look at it. Right John, Look no. At it. Little, little, no. Giant. That, I see it. Right in front I of you. I see that boom, there, boom, but that's boom. not. Ask me again. That's a lie. <laughs> I never wanted to be an only sieve, only child. That's I, a lie. <laughs> so my wedding is coming up in August. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to officiating? Yes. True. Because I get to be the center of attention. <laughs> Remember, it's my wedding. I know. Well, why would you ask your comedian brother to be your officiant? Just so it's a little more entertaining because ceremonies are always super dry. Okay, I'll make it real wet. Yeah. Did you ever get drunk in college and puke on someone's shoes so bad that they had to throw them out? Is this something that happened to you? I don't remember that. I thought you might say that. <laughs> you definitely vomited on my shoes. Oh, and man. Have you ever... <laughs> Have you? <laughs> if you guys think that I was bad in our try not to laugh challenge, she's even worse than me. Okay, have a minute. <laughs> Take your time. Do you plan on getting another ugly third dog? Yes, I do. True. <laughs> even uglier. Do you like my dogs better than Christy's dogs? I like your dogs better than Christy's dogs because they have more personality, a little more spunk. Yeah. Take that sister who's not here to defend yeah. herself. <laughs> Do you feel cool when you get stopped in public for a photo? <laughs> no. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome, off. it's fun. You always try to play it off so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not all the time, but sometimes it's nice. It's like you have friends everywhere you go. Do you think our parents let you get away with more? I think they did when I was a kid. And I, you know, no one stops you from anything now. True. <laughs> This is not coming from a resentful place, but because we do have an Asian family, yes. do you think our parents let you get away with more because you're a boy? Absolutely, yes. True. Do you remember when they would sometimes push leftovers out of your plates and onto mine? Yes, I'm not resentful of that at all. Because you want to be skinny. Yeah, forced diets. We're very Asian. <laughs> did you ever fake an injury for attention? Uh, I, I did one okay. time, yeah. Okay. I one time was playing in the snow and uh, pretended to hit my head on a rock because I thought it was funny or whatever, wanted to get my mom's attention. And she freaked out and called 911. And then they took me to the hospital. They gave me a CAT scan. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's, that's the did. thing. It did, it did. Once I was in, then I was in too deep. Have you ever projectile vomited in a restaurant? <laughs> no. That's a lie. We had one time where I had this really bad stomach bug, and but I convinced my family to bring me out to get sushi. And then about halfway through the meal, I just projectiled all over the floor. I ruined dinner for a lot of people that night. I was just curious if you remember when you were maybe in, in uh, elementary school, if you remember the types of TV shows that were your favorites. I remember you referred to the TV I watched as baby TV. I remember your favorite TV show was, was Barney. Yeah. I was huge into Barney for a bit. Do you remember how old you were when you were into Barney? I think I was five or six. Do you remember differently? I remember differently. <laughs> I remember you were older than that. I, I looked this up. The show premiered when you were five. So you, were, you could not have been younger than that. And I don't think you were on it the day it premiered. <laughs> So you might remember a time, Eugene, of when you called me f repeatedly as my nickname and then got me a pinata of an actual f <laughs> Do you feel any remorse for calling me a f Oh my God. Yes, I do feel bad about that. 
That's true. I think I was watching Batman and uh, you came into the room. It used to be that when it would go to a commercial break, uh, rather than watch the commercials, we just run through the channels. As I was doing this, we happened to pass by Barney. <laughs> and I probably wanted to watch that. You wanted to watch Barney. Yeah. I'm not recalling any of this, so you're just going to have to weigh <laughs> no. it out there. Yeah. There was also a time in the teenage years when we were in Taekwondo and I was bigger than all the boys and you proceeded to yell <laughs> and it's coming whenever they would put me up to, to spar with the other boys. Do you, any, do you feel any remorse for that? <laughs> I do not feel remorse for that scenario. He's telling the truth. I did not come up with a nickname the boys did, because you were bigger than them, you made half of them cry because you would run over them and you would hit them so hard <laughs> that they would bleed. So I thought you started that name. No, I came up with <laughs> They came up oh, with so they I just, ado I just oh, adapted okay. because you injured so many children during Taekwondo. You uh, threw, uh, I guess a tantrum is, is the right word for it. And at that exact moment that you were throwing that fit, our mother entered the room. <laughs> You don't remember I this. don't remember this, Brian. I, I don't remember. This is the only real incident I remember of you being kind of a kind of a sneaky bastard. <laughs> in your fit, the story became that, that I had taken the remote from you and had changed the channel while you were peacefully watching Barney as the good child that you were and wanted to change it to some dangerous lunatic TV show that only I could watch. And, and then what happened? Who got in trouble? No recollection. I didn't eat dinner that night. I got <laughs> in the worst trouble I've ever been in. Well, I apologize for that. When you look in the mirror, are you happy with what you see? No. True. Well, because I'm kind of like that too, just picking at yourself a little bit. That was a heavy one, Winnie. <laughs> God, I wonder if the other siblings are asking the same things. Uh, were you protective of me? I think so. Did you ever not let me date any of your friends? Did they, any of them want to and you didn't let them? I think, yes. True. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll get married before me? <laughs> yes but only because you told me that Ethan's waiting to propose until I do. <laughs> Did you ever make out with one of my friends? I, yeah, I think so. True. Interesting. It was college. Right, right, yeah. When I was vomiting on your shoes. The blackout years. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Uh, the really, Barney was the highest stakes question that I asked. Um, uh, Keith is not given enough shit about that particular element of his life, and because nobody knows to give a shit about that, Barney was not for eight-year-olds. <laughs> Barney was for toddlers. Do you hope Wes has a little sister? Yeah. True. Aww, <laughs> just like us. <laughs> Do you plan on taking care of our parents? <sighs> yes. True. I hope we all mm. will. That's kind of the the duty of Asian children. For some reason, I thought you were gonna say no, and then my follow-up question was, do you plan on me taking care of our parents? Oh, I mean, if you, if you volunteer, then I'm, I'd am i gladly let you take care of them first. Do you ever resent me or the fact that you got the less healthy portion of our gene pool? No. True. Is there, I don't resent you. I don't hold that against you at all. I'm elated that you are healthier than I am uh, <laughs> and that only one of us has to deal with this. I love you. I love you. It's I true. love her too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like a charity case growing up and especially going into college compared to me and Christy? Yes. True. Yeah, since you went into business and Chrissy went into law, I felt like I was a burden for our parents to support someone who was creative. I was a, a gamble for them. There was no way to prove that I was going to be successful. We all believed in you, though. Thank we you. We took the gamble. You believed in, more, in me more than I believed in me. Actually, you know who believed in you the most is Mom Psychic. Oh, Mom Psychic loves me. Are you impressed? by what I've done. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the, the moving to LA I thought was a good move. I wouldn't have done that. So I think you're the, the bravest of the, of the Habersburgers. 
Or the dumbest. One of the two. Are you proud of me? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I am incredibly proud of you. True. Thank you. So, I'm a songwriter. Do you listen to my music? I, I do. I do. Oh. Crew. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> it's nice to have a, a fan, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Are you proud of me? You. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to... I thought I was doing a good job asking that with a no, straight face. No, you did. Face. You did it with a straight face. That was really good, Whitney. Are you proud of me? <laughs> Isn't that disgusting? It's pretty icky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think our parents are more proud of you or more proud of me? I think they're more proud of me. True. I'm not sure they expected this to work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's easier to be like, oh, Brian's super smart. He's gonna go for, to school for engineering. So you're not like surprised. Me, I went to school for theater and French horn. So <laughs> you don't have a lot of high hopes for like financial <laughs> assurance. Do you think you're a mom's favorite child? No. True. <laughs> you don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she loves me very loudly. <laughs> Mom thinks you're very special. She believes that you can talk to animals. So I wanted to ask you, do you believe you can talk to animals? <laughs> <laughs> talk okay, to. fine. I think I can talk to birds. Birds and animals that have died. <laughs> True. I knew it. Mom was the one who thinks I can talk to dead animals. So, sorry, sorry. Wait. Real quick, how, how's it going? Uh, when you say that you can talk to animals, is it like you talk and they understand you, or they go tweet tweet and you understand what they're saying, or is it more of a, uh, a mental connection? Just please elaborate. You know, it's just more of a, it's more of a speaking without speaking. I just know what they're feeling. John, what do you think? He believes she can do it. <laughs> Did you ever steal something from a gift shop and then pretend to find it in the woods and pretend it was real? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I never did that. That's a lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Have you ever had a crush on any of my friends? No. That's a lie. No, I mean, I haven't had a crush on any of your friends. That's a lie. No, I was there. There were people that were cuter than other ones, sure. We were in the Redwood Forest in, in Northern Cali, and Ned goes, Oh my God, wow, look you guys, I just found this authentic Native American arrowhead. What could this be from? Or some version of that. And we were all like, wow, oh my God, Ned's so cool. <laughs> Yep, yep, I stole it from a gift shop. Have you ever made out with one of my friends? <laughs> no. That's a lie. Have you made out with two of my friends? No. That well, is not true. <laughs> is it? I remember one. <laughs> oh, no, okay, two. Yeah, two. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You're right. She's right. Do you think our families a little crazy? Yes. Crew? Mm -hmm. mm hmm Do you think you're messed up a little bit from it? I think I'm a little unnecessarily ambitious. <laughs> you think? <laughs> but it's just core to who we are. Yeah. So it's very hard to get over. What's your next happy question? <laughs> Do you know how much I've looked up to you my whole life? No, that's very sweet. You are the best friend. That's very sweet. That means a lot to me. I love you. I love you too. I didn't realize how traumatizing some of these things were. Big brother stuff. Imagine my brother. Uh, oh. Uh, mwah. Uh, <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. I really don't remember this Barney incident, but he clearly does. So now I'm trying to be like, is that why we had so many fights because I like got him in trouble for something that wasn't his fault so he resented me for like several years that's possible uh, I always thought he just didn't like me and you know now we've maybe found out why Barney the friendly dinosaur really drove a wedge uh, in between my brother and I John was Eugene more truthful with his sister than he was with his friends I 
He talks to dead cats. Most people talk to live cats. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you brought up the dead animals, Whitney. Uh, it says right here, hold on, I'm reading this, Barney and Friends, an American children television series aimed at children aged one to eight. <laughs> one to eight? The, yep, this is what the network says. Not a demographic. Well, it, it's what they claim one to be, so I feel, <laughs> I feel vindicated. 